What's up guys, it's Courtney. Some of you might have found this channel because of an Akai MPK Mini MK2 tutorial that I did a couple years ago. Well, since the MK3 came out, I've wanted to do another tutorial, basically going over some of those same functions and answering some of the questions that were in the comment section of that previous video, as well as going over the new functions that are within this new MIDI controller. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial so I can hopefully answer some of your questions. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is plug your Akai into your computer using the USB cable. So let's do that. If you take a look at my screen, it says PGM Logic Pro X. If yours doesn't say that, hit the prog select button and hit the third pad on the Akai MPK Mini and then you will have your template on there as well. Let's just move into Logic and open a few things so we can get started programming these pads. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is create a new channel strip and with this, for some reason, the drum machine designer is not in this area right here. I don't know why they don't let you select it here, but they don't. So you're gonna wanna select empty channel strip and hit create. And then you're gonna go to this instrument section right here on track one and scroll down until you see drum machine designer. Once you click that, you can see that we have this little kit and it's empty, so we need to drag and drop some samples onto this. Just anything random for the sake of this tutorial. I'm gonna go to one shots. The count always has incredible packs, so if you like want lo-fi sounds or boom bap sounds, check out the count on Splice. If you have a Splice account, this is not sponsored by Splice, I just genuinely use this for every single one of my beats. So moving on to a snare. Now a hi-hat. And let's add an open hat to that last pad. All right, so we've dragged and dropped those samples onto the Akai. So let's see if the pads work now that we have sounds loaded onto them. And they do, so we could just do a little finger drumming thing really quick. If you wanted to add some like samples at the top here to play at the same time, you can do that as well. So let's just search up a little loop really quick and maybe piano or something. So this loop is 149 beats per minute. My current project setting is 80, so I'm gonna change it to 149 beats per minute just for the sampling sake of this part. So the way you wanna do this is select the scissor tool if you don't have it selected already. You can get there by clicking this down button right here and selecting the scissor tool. Now I'm gonna hit the command button and the option button on my keyboard and I'm just going to click right here and that's going to get me very nice slices and they're all right on the transients so we don't have to do too much work there. And I have four available pads, so I'm going to open up my drum designer and I'm simply just going to drag these onto the empty pads that I would like to assign them to. And now we should have the samples on the pads. And I'm also gonna change the polyphony to mono. Now that we know how to program our samples to pads, let's talk about some of these buttons up here and how we can use them in Logic. First thing I'm gonna talk about is this note repeat function. A lot of people use the note repeat function for hi-hats, so let me show you what it does when you turn it on. And if you wanna change the rate of that, you just hold the note repeat button and you use this first knob here and take the division down. So those are eighth notes, triplet sixteens, and 32. You can also change the swing and the tempo by holding down the note repeat function. So you would change the swing right here and the tempo right here. And also the arpeggiator, turn that on. If you hold the arpeggiator down, you can edit those same functions within uh, the parameters over here 
You can change the division, the swing, the octave of how many notes that are being played in the arpeggiator, the latch function, and the up and down effect. So if the notes are going up or if they're going down or if they're going both ways to create a little nice uh, effect. But now let me show you how to do a note repeat within Logic Pro because this is, can be utilized across all MIDI controllers. So if you don't have a note repeat function on your MIDI controller, this will work with any MIDI controller, but it's just super fun to use with the MPK Mini. So let me show you how to do it really quick. You're gonna click this box right here. It's the toolbar box. And then you're gonna click this box that says note repeat. And you're going to keep this little box up while you do this because if you close it, it actually won't work. And if you don't have this open where you can edit a bunch of this stuff right here, click this little arrow box. So if yours looks like that, just click this and it should be good to go. So make sure your max is at the max division that you want your uh, hi-hat to play its uh, roles at and then the minimum that you want it to play at as well. And you're going to check this box right here that says modulation wheel because we're going to be using this joystick right here. And let me show you what it does. Another thing to mention about this, I saw a lot of people in the comments of the previous video, they were having trouble getting this modulation uh, stick to work for this. And that is most likely due to the fact that you have your modulation wheel programmed to a different parameter within Logic. So the way that you fix that is you go to Logic Pro at the taskbar up here, go to Control Surfaces, Controller Assignments, and somewhere within this section right here, if you toggle the joystick, it's going to show that that parameter is already assigned to something. So go ahead and just delete this little line of information right here and you should be good to go. So I hope that helps you guys with that, that we're having trouble with that because there seem to be a lot of you. And I also saw that quite a few of you were having trouble finding the drum machine designer. And that's probably due to the fact that your Logic Pro is not quite up to date. So make sure you're updating your software and that should help you with that. Now moving on, let's talk about how we can program some of these knobs to some of the functions within Logic Pro. It's very, very simple, very, very easy. So let's, let's talk about it. We're going to hit A on our keyboard and I'm going to add an audio effect of a single band EQ. And I want this knob to control the frequency. So I'm going to move the frequency knob on Logic. Then I'm going to go up to Logic Pro, Control Surfaces, and Learn Assignment for Frequency. Now I'm going to move this knob a little bit, exit out, hit reassign if you need to. And now I'm going to change this to Latch, and I'm going to hit Play on my keyboard. And that's how you add automation to a track within Logic using a MIDI controller. You can do this with any MIDI controller, by the way. This doesn't just have to be the Akai MPK Mini. Any MIDI controller that has either knobs or faders, you can assign them to different parameters within Logic. And that is the Akai MPK Mini MK3 in a nutshell using Logic Pro. I hope that I answered some of your questions from the previous video. And if you have any other questions, leave them down in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. If you didn't, go ahead and hit the dislike button. It's fine. And if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button as well as that little bell so you get a notification every single time I post. And be sure to let me know what kind of tutorial tutorials I should do in the future because I do want to create more tutorials on this channel because I feel like I have a lot of information and I need to help you guys and vice versa. You can teach me things through the tutorials. I don't know, like in the comment section. Anyway, hope you all have a happy holiday and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.